Universal Audio, Luna, tip number 14, moving through markers in your project. If you're used to using Pro Tools or something like Pro Tools, sometimes there's a menu that you can bring up and hit hotkeys to move between markers. Most of the time you have to know the number of the bookmark that you're going to, but actually in Luna it's a little easier and I actually prefer this. So you'll see up here at the top of the page I have uh, several markers, in, verse 1, chorus, break. If I need to go between those quickly, I could just use my cursor to move to it and go that way, or I can use a hotkey. This is the way I prefer to do it. Let's say if I'm at the beginning of the song, I'm going to make these tracks a little bit bigger. If I'm at the beginning of the song and I need to go to this marker right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Control and Option at the same time. Now to move to the right, I'm going to use the quotation mark or apostrophe key, whichever one you want to call it, and it will go to the next bookmark to the right. And I can scroll through using that all the way to the end. I can use the L key to go to the left. Something easy to remember there. L means left, and the opposite of that would be the quotation apostrophe key. So what's interesting about this to me is also I can select sections by adding the shift key. So if I hold down op control option and shift, then use the apostrophe uh, key, you see I'm selecting up into that section. Now there's an interesting thing that happens here. If you look at this uh, project here, if I want to select everything from the end point to the end, I actually need to set in another marker because if I if I start this over, you'll see if I start on the end uh, right here and I hit shift, bump, 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 I can't go any further because there's not another marker. And to add another marker, it's as simple as just putting your cursor where you want it, hitting the uh, the enter key on your keyboard and adding a marker. Okay, so something to know about this. I have a keyboard, uh, a typing keyboard for the computer that has a numeric pad on the side of it. And that is the enter key from the numeric pad that will create a new marker. And so if I don't have that numeric pad, what I believe I can do is hit the shift key and the return key that turns it into a, an enter key. Uh, you might want to check that on your um, personal keyboard. But um, if you have the numeric section, it's just the enter key. So again, now I can come here to the beginning. I'm going to use control option, uh, apostrophe, to start, get it right at the end point. Then I'm going to add the shift key to those two. So it's com control option, shift, apostrophe key. I'm going to go all the way to the end, and I have that entire section. This is useful for using things like uh, export feature. So I can export this entire uh, section from end to end and have one file be the same uh, length each time I do the, the same export. That's it for today. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and we'll be back very soon with some new content. Thanks so much.